was alone a lot of my childhood because both my parents worked really demanding jobs. But I don't think I was ever lonely. about the fact that I feel as though they're not spending enough time with me but I think it was still just nakra I would spend hours on my dad's desktop just making ridiculous PPTs classical dances of India, folk dances of India. I don't know why, I was just such a nerd. I never really had like gully friends. I mean I did, but like my mother would say, I would much rather sit at home and paint than go out and socialize and play with friends and stuff. We've had a sudden kind of realization, uh, moment of insight, if you will. I was thinking of uh, releasing a newsletter this week on my birthday, basically. I've been planning it for like, I don't know, too long. I had originally, let's sit, let's sit comfortably. Okay, I had decided that it would be named after the podcast that I had made, which is called The Creative Conundrum, which is basically delineating uh, exploring ideas of uh, about creativity bleh, whatever okay you get it but now i am rethinking it because firstly i'm not an expert on creativity so i can't just sit and like puke out stuff Ooh. i'm gonna rebrand the newsletter i want to launch it in wednesday thursday Friday, in three days <laughs> but i'm rebranding it now And since I chose to be home so much and to be by myself so much, I would always find something to do, like I said before. And I think the fact that other people were outside playing, having a life, living life, and I was somewhere taking a different route. <laughs> Made me have this sort of false sense of exclusivity, like I was something special or unique.
my hot take is that Instagram is just a cesspool of vanity. I am part of that cesspool. I agree, but it's just boring. Like it bores the shit out of me. <laughs> And yet I'm still scrolling on. I don't get it. I don't get it. Had a bit of a irritating, stressful morning. Work related. You didn't do anything. I thought I I would do something, and then something else came in the way, and then I couldn't do that something that I wanted to do. So whatever. I don't like growing up. it very viciously rips you out of your very romantic bubble where you've been very happily cocooned for years i'm getting a little better at i think drawing lines uh, like drawing boundaries for myself work wise clients wise like this time to this time if, I, if you if you don't give me the stuff i need in that point in time your project will get delayed because of that false sense of exclusivity and that feeling of uniqueness i always grew up thinking that <clears throat> i was i was meant for great things and then reality gets you and your self confidence plummets and all the dreams you had as a kid suddenly become too 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 many steps away like the great wall of china kind of length away from you and so you give up on them as a child you see your life span as a huge amount of time and as you keep getting older and older you realize that that time is shrinking now i'm not trying to give all of you an existential crisis but i am probably one year away from having a quarter life crisis i might even prepone it by a year i might even just have it now <laughs> my friends the word i would use to describe them is ball breaking <laughs> they are that amazing oh, my shoes see the Come problem is when you spend you. when you spend 5000 on shoes you don't feel like using those shoes yeah. because if they get dirty see, then you is, feel like trash the only these are not thing shoes I, for india the only thing i own that is that expensive is a saree anywhere and that is 9 yards or uh, 6 yards of cloth you realize we don't buy nike cuz that much to me you realize we don't buy yeah nike. that's why i don't buy nike so i have puma shoes <coughs> so mana tell me three things you like about me come on chalo nothing nothing and nothing what is your request tell me three things you don't like about me the silence is telling i think i think nothing nothing and nothing usha oh, usha we were to you Happy birthday to you. Aha. Se chuka hamida. Oh, the cat eat half kg. And you have to cut because that spending time with them reminds me those dreams, that romantic bubble, it can exist in reality. It doesn't need to be popped right to the they remind me of my potential Good. and my capacity and my abilities without saying anything we are cooking my birthday lunch today i am not hey come here telugu frida the dress has frida on it all over it so this is telugu frida <laughs> literally this one what the fuck is i have made it to this place <laughs> guys you see yourselves Found out. 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 Found out.
with all my profits and losses all measured up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I don't know where that time went. But I guess um, it's like karela. It tastes like shit, but I guess it's good for you. But today is my birthday. So I'm going to eat cake, not karela. And I'm going to eat buttloads of it. <laughs>